Hey guys, Alex here from Tacoma Mozilla and welcome back to my channel. It's winter time and there's COVID-19 and uh, to that point, I hope that you guys are staying safe out there. But anyway, these days I've got uh, some spare time. So I actually used some of that time to read my owner's manual for my 2019 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. I even have some uh, bookmarks here. So from that read, I would like to uh, share with you a short list of some of the things that I thought was interesting and you might know of, some of it mostly common sense, but uh, I'd like to point them out anyway and hopefully that uh, these will help you out. Take note that uh, there might be a difference between the, the uh, yearly models from 2016 to 2021, so make sure to check out your uh, own manual for that. And also there might be difference be differences between uh, the Canadian and the US versions of the manual at least. I know that my TRD Pro uh, was made in Texas still uh, for the 2019 so um, I don't expect uh, differences but double check your manuals anyway just to make sure. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and go through that short list and I hope that uh, these are useful to you. So please hit that uh, subscribe and notification bell buttons and uh, let's go over these. So here we go guys, first on our list is breaking in your brand spanking new Toyota Tacoma and this is found on page 163 of the owner's manual. It's of course advisable to follow these recommended mileages for driving, revving, accelerating, braking and towing. Why? It just allows for the many components of your truck to settle perfectly into place. However, I am actually 100% guilty of breaking the towing recommendation. As the minute I picked up my brand new truck, we went camping and I towed my 15 foot camper trailer for a good 500 kilometers, but I did follow the rest of the recommendations. So, uh, oops, and that's all I can say to that. Now, item number two on our list is found on page 30. If you need a seat belt extender, you can actually ask for one from your Toyota dealer free of charge. You know, best things in life are free and Adam Sandler would also say, for free. For your safety, this is item number three on the list and found on page 89. If either your ABS and SRS lights don't come on during the initial engine start, then subsequently these won't be available to warn you when it's actually needed. So it would be prudent to get your vehicle inspected Pronto. Page 108 and number four on the list is for your key fob. It's recommended to keep it about three feet away from any appliance that produces some sort of magnetic field such as your TV, laptops, any computers, cell phones, even induction cookers. Hmm, interesting. Now we're on item number five and it's page 125 and it's again on the key fob which talks about a function to save your key fob battery. This can be done by pressing the unlock button twice while holding down the uh, lock button simultaneously. This actually achieves a couple of things. Number one, it saves battery life as it says and number two, it becomes a tough deterrent as this prevents the key fob from transmitting RF or radio frequency that can be used to be picked up by someone who can duplicate your key. I think that's pretty neat. Item number six on the list, and I don't really have this because I have the key fob, but in case you didn't know, and uh, if you don't have the key fob, apparently turning the key counterclockwise once locks all the doors and turning it clockwise once unlocks the driver's side door and turning it clockwise again for the second time would unlock all the other doors and this is found on uh, page 111. Now we're on item number seven and found on page 203 and this talks about ECT power which stands for electronic control transmission. Of course, there are aftermarket alternatives such as the uh, pedal commander or the sprint booster, 
but for me these although these uh, options do a good job in eliminating the delay and throttle response I'm not really sure as to what uh, uh, these things do to my gears and to my transmission so I'm very skeptical and uh, I think I'm just gonna utilize the ECT uh, by Toyota because number one it's already there and number two I don't really intend to race with my Tacoma anyway, so I'm cool like that. And last but not least, uh, item number eight and found on page 186. This talks about engine braking efficiency and charging system performance. For automatic, apparently do not use D or drive mode. Switch to the fifth gear or lower in s or sport mode alternatively for manual transmission do not use the sixth gear mm, i didn't know that so there you have it it's a short list and as i mentioned these are common sense items but very useful i hope for your everyday driving i hope this was informative for you and uh, please hit subscribe and the notification bell button so You'll be alerted when my new videos come out, and uh, I hope you check out my other Tacoma video mods as well. So I am out for now, and catch you on the next video. But for now, if you can be anything, please be nice. Cheers.